In this workflow, we will cover the Seismic Spectral Blue-In, a plugin by ArcCLS. This is a frequency enhancement technique that uses well data to shape the seismic spectrum to optimize and increase the vertical resolution without boosting the noise to an unacceptable level. So we go to the Attribute Engine attribute 3D and we select the spectral blue in attribute from the list. So the workflow is to design an operator for seismic spectral blue in using both the seismic and well data. This operator aims to shape the seismic amplitude spectrum such that it becomes similar to that of the well reflectivity spectrum. Once the operator has been derived, it is converted to the time domain and simply applied to the seismic volume using a convolution algorithm. As the SSB technique uses both seismic and well data, one of the main prerequisites of this workflow is to have good quality well to seismic ties. So we select the original seismic as input and we keep single operator and then we analyze and create. In order to design the SSB operator, we need to analyze the seismic and well data spectra by loading some seismic traces and time converted acoustic impedance well logs. So we click on the Select Input Data window icon, select the original seismic. Then we load seismic, 40 random traces from the selected seismic. For the time specification, the aim is to design an operator at the zone of interest, which is the target. Therefore, it is best to identify a time gate for this interval before we proceed. Ideally, we should use a good interpreted horizon in the target zone to guide the seismic traces and well data. For this manner, the various gated log traces should have sample value over similar geology. For this training exercise, we will use a window interval instead. So we will keep the default sub option and set it to 500 to 1500. Then we switch to input well log, load wells, and we select the well F34 and the P impedance log. Keep the default sub selection and we set it to similar range as the seismic between 500 and 1500. If the impedance log is not available, you can right click on the well and you have the option to generate impedance log and close this window. Once the seismic and well data are loaded, you can see various curves displayed in the plot. Scroll through this window with the left click on any curve, you can see on the lower left corner what it represents. With the right click on any of the plots, you see a menu showing different options to change the legend, to zoom in, etc. We click on the design operator control. We keep the smooth operator length of 5. That smooths the average amplitude frequency spectrum of the seismic data, which is displayed on the seismic mean plot. Then we uncheck the full range of the fit well log curves and set the high frequency cut to 125, thus limiting it to the Nyquist frequency of input seismic. And we see the change on the global plot. Then on the design operator, we switch off auto calculate, tweak the low and high cat parameters of the design operator to reach the optimum values where the residual operator blue curve 
on the residual operator QC plot stay at zero in the frequency domain with a quick drop on both sides. Then we save this operator by giving it a name. We will call it spectral blue in operator. This operator is saved as a wavelet. We can save as well this session and bring it back with all the optimized parameters. The effect of the parameter tweaking of the design operator is immediately visible in the view seismic window. We can close the SSB model and return to the attributes set 3D window. The new saved operator is selected and just specify the attribute name. Call it SSB on original seismic. Add as a new. Then we can close the attribute set 3D window. To see the result, we go to the scene in the tree, right click on the inline, add and selected data. We selected first the original seismic for display. Then we apply the SSB attributes on inline and compare the results with the original seismic by right click on the 425 inline, add attributes, select the SSB on original seismic attribute that we computed. Then we compare the original seismic and the SSB by ticking on and off the overlaying attributes in the tree. This concludes the seismic spectral blue-in workflow from ArcCLS that shows how to enhance the frequency and increase the vertical resolution of the seismic data.